Hey guys, uh, it's iPod Touch Helper here, and this on this special tutorial, I will show you how to dual boot a uh, Vista and the new Windows 7. So what you need is a Windows 7 disk. You can buy it or torrent it. I have 64-bit and 32-bit. Uh, so I'm going to use 64-bit since my computer is 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Okay, after you put it in, don't run anything. You will boot from it when it restarts. So right click on your computer. We're going to make the partition for it, so go to manage. Okay, over here, select disk management. And when autoplay pops up, just ignore it. Okay, so select your primary partition here, which in this case is mine, uh, is this one. This is my Mac OS partition. If you want to install uh, Mac OS on your Windows for some reason, I will make a tutorial on that later. So right click on this, your main partition, and go to shrink volume. By main partition, I mean the one that uh, your Vista is installed onto. So over here, this is basically selecting your new partition size. I can only shrink it to 14 gigs, so I'm just going to go with that and click shrink. This is probably going to take about 2-5 to five minutes, so I'm going to cut this part. Okay, so after it is done, you should see this with the correct size for the new partition. And that is enough. We are just going to leave it to that. So I'm going to quit this and then restart my computer and boot into the Windows 7 installation disk. Okay, so press any key. Okay, this is probably going to take a while, so I'm going to cut this part out. Okay, so you should get the Windows logo now. And just like Vista, you should get the setup screen. Okay, click next. Choose your language, region, and whatnot. Okay, and yeah, go ahead and install now. Okay, so this is the license agreement. Go ahead and agree. And click next. And over here, click custom. So over here, they list your partitions. And select the one you just created, which is this one. And then click next. And yeah, it will copy the files and install windows so I'm just gonna cut this part out and see you in a bit
Okay, so after um um the first four or whatever steps are complete, it should restart. So you can just leave it alone. So when it reboots, do not um boot from disk. So when it says click any button to boot from CD or DVD, just don't click anything. 